My name is Kaushik Kunal Singh and I will be presenting a project that me and my brother Sachin worked on, an artificial intelligence based mobile solution for the early detection of valvular diseases. So this was a problem introduced by our grandfather who's been a doctor for over 40 years now. And every time we visited his clinic in Bihar, we would be shocked by the sheer number of patients who would just swarm his clinic. And that was a perfect representation of the sheer disparity between the number of patients and the number of doctors. So simply put, there aren't enough doctors to satisfy the number of patients. And after doing research, we realized that this had been the cause of so many heart disease related deaths in rural areas, which has now surpassed the number of heart disease related deaths in urban areas. And we also realized that these doctors who were practicing in uh, rural areas, they were practicing, a lot of them were practicing without a formal degree. And these are known as community healthcare workers. And they make, can I turn this off? Okay, it's okay. So these community healthcare workers, they make up for over 75% of the primary healthcare centers, uh, primary care. And it's this lack which has caused all of these diseases to go undiagnosed and which has resulted in all of these, these deaths. So we target as normal doctors perform something called cardiac auscultation to identify heart diseases in particular, where they use an analog stethoscope to listen to heart, your heart, heart sounds and then based on what they hear, they're able to um, tell, diagnose whether you have any sort of valvular um, disease or any other disease um, related to sounds. And we saw this as an opportunity to use artificial intelligence to kind of substitute for that expertise that trained doctors have. And in that way, we could enable these untrained healthcare workers present in rural areas to screen for these heart diseases. So um, we hypothesize that in order to replace this expertise, we can take audio samples from a digital stethoscope, convert them into spectrograms, and then use um, CNNs or a type of artificial intelligence to perform image processing on those to classify whether they have a heart disease or not. And we decided to use CNNs because of how similarly they, de they are designed to the human mind, right? So just like how we have neurons with synapses between them, CNNs also have nodes with connections between them. And this kind of analogous structure allows them to be trained just like how we learn. And by training them with a data set of um, heart sounds, we are able to allow to recognize heart disease. Now, before it's in, uh, the audio is input into the CNN, we first decided to convert them into spectrograms, as it's able to convert the temporal patterns into spatial patterns. So essentially, if you take a sample, a single sample at an instance of time of some audio, you won't be able to determine whether the, a heart disease is present or not. But if you listen for like, say, eight or nine seconds, then you can determine whether a pattern is present and essentially a spectrogram is able to represent these patterns because one of the axes is time. Now apart from that, it's also able to represent the frequency and the amplitude of the frequency in terms of its color. So in that way, we're able to have as much information present for the AI model to use. Now we had to prove this concept first, so we performed various experiments. The first one being proving that we can use spectral images for the diagnosis. And after using over a hundred images from our U Michigan data set, all of them classified correctly, proving that we can use spectral images. So in the next experiment, we wanted to optimize these spectrogram parameters, such as the sampling rate or the overlapping factor. And after, um, after this experiment, we saw a significant improvement in the classification score. So essentially how sure the model was whether the patient has a disease or not. Now, and um, this is a small visualization of how that looks. So after the audio is converted into spectrograms, it looks something like that. And as you can uh, actually, you might not be able to see, but there is quite a significant difference between a normal and an optimized spectrogram. And as you can see, the heartbeats are a lot more well-defined in this case, apart from that. And also when um, background noise is introduced, the optimized spectrograms are able to get rid of most of those frequencies. 
Now in our third and fourth experiment, we wanted to essentially take this concept and prove it on a larger scale. So we took a training data set much larger than the first um, one we took of around uh, 300 images total, which is still not much in comparison to what optimally should have done, but it was enough to prove that we still have a sufficiently high classification success. And we were also able to infer that the few incorrect classifications were due to background noise, and that led us, um, that resulted in us optimizing the spectrograms even further. So now that we've proven the concept, we have to move to make it a deployable solution. So practically, it would also have to be portable, low cost, simple to use, and accurate and instant. And uh, we were able to encapsulate all of these into a mobile app. Now, um, while figuring out how to deploy the solution, we also realized that the digital stethoscopes currently available in the market are far too expensive for the type of market we're looking for, which is people of a rural background. They would cost anywhere from 35,000 to 60,000 rupees, and that's not viable in this context. So we constructed our own digital stethoscope using an analog stethoscope head, insulation, and a microphone for a cost of only around 3,500 rupees, and that can be significantly brought down if we mass produce it. And essentially, this digital stethoscope will connect to the mobile app through the audio jack, and this solution will um, connect to the cloud over the internet where the CNN model will be hosted. And essentially this offloads all the computationally intensive processes off the mobile app. So it's completely software agnostic. You know, regardless of the processing power of the mobile phone, um, it'll be able to run the app. And that's important because a lot of people in rural areas might not have phones with the best processing power. So essentially the way the solution would be used is a worker, an untrained worker, would launch the app and use the digital stethoscope to record an audio sound of the patient. And then after being uploaded to the cloud, they will instantly receive a diagnosis within two or three seconds. Now what they don't know is happening is there's a bunch of pre-processing, processing and post-processing happening where the CNN, uh, where the audio sample is first split into smaller samples. Then those are converted into spectrograms and those spectrograms are then classified using the AI model. Now, if the classification score is high enough, we also developed a system to put that back in the training database for further training. And in this way, as this um, solution is used more, it will constantly grow in its accuracy. So this project is innovative in multiple ways. First of all, it's a completely new method for, um, for replacing cardiac auscultation by classifying spectral images of the audio using CNNs. Um, it's also scalable in many ways. First, in terms of its concept, since this concept can be extended to any, any um, issues that um, can be identified through sound patterns. And it's all, the solution itself is also scalable because we made it um, on the cloud and the solution itself is also very um, scalable. And finally, its simplicity is also innovative in terms of how we were able to hide all the backend complexity from the user, making it um, viable for any untrained workers who have no prior experience. So once we had tested this using, uh, through our experiments, we wanted to test this in the field as an actual solution. So uh, we took it to cardiac hospitals where we could confirm whether patients had um, heart diseases or not. So that was mainly for checking whether our solution worked. And we also piloted it at the first ever community healthcare training program, where um, we gave this solution to untrained health workers and we saw their responses and they were very promising. They, were, um, they couldn't wait to use the solution. So we screened over 200 patients so far in, in five HWCs, eight, five health and wellness centers. And um, we actually found two, pa two patients who might have heart disease related problems and they have been referred to healthcare centers which can perform further checks. Now, our solution integrates very nicely in uh, the government's initiative, the Ayushman Bharat Initiative, for the early screening of these common diseases, which is cardiovascular, cancer, um, diabetes, or tuberculosis. And since we, our solution screens for the um, valvular or cardiovascular diseases, 
it fits very nicely. So to conclude, we have successfully created and implemented a low-cost and automated tool that can be used for the early screening of heart diseases. Which can, be, um, which can be deployed across rural India for untrained healthcare workers to screen for these heart diseases. And we are currently working with the um, government of Bihar in um, deploying this to HWCs or health and wellness centers across Bihar. So um, the future of this project is very promising. Thank you. Any questions?